Okay, I just finished round 11 and now then rounds 12 through 14 is pearl. So just go ahead and pearl all the rows. Those pearl rows will be your edge of your, um, where the edge of the CD will sit. And we will meet back up with you then. We, my goodness, it's not royal here. Okay, I will meet back up with you at the end of row 14. I just finished round 14, um, the pearls, and now we are back to doing knit stitches for rounds 15 through 22. So once you knit rounds 15 through 22, I'll meet back up with you to do the decrease. Okay, I just finished round 22. Now we are going to, um, now if you look at this, you're going to think that looks awfully small. Um, but we want it to be small because it will stretch. And once we put the CD in there, uh, you'll want it to be nice and tight so that the, uh, uh, so that the fabric doesn't bunch. Okay, so now then. We are going to do the decrease, and what we're going to do is we're going to go back to every other peg like we were at the beginning. So we're going to take the first one, and we're going to put it onto the second one, and we're going to just go ahead and we're going to knit over, and then do that on all of them so that you've got one loop on every other peg. So you just move the one over to the other and knit it off all the way around and then I'll meet back up with you. Okay, and now we are going to knit three rounds. So 23 through um, 25 of the, and you take your working yarn behind your peg like you did before and you just knit off for three rounds to round 25. After round 25, then we will do a gathered fine top and show you how to finish it off. Okay, now I just finished that. So what we're going to do for our gathered bond off is we are going to take our working yarn and we are going to wrap the used part of our loom around one and a half times. And then we will cut our yarn. And then we will kind of do like a uh, pearl. We're just going to pull that on through. You can go ahead and take your loops off if you want. Or you can get them all uh, woven through first and then remove them. If you find it faster, just whichever way you, whoops, you like. So once you get that done, I'll meet back up with you once you've got it so get it all through and then take it off the loom. Now then I've got it off and you've got, um, and it doesn't matter which end you start off with, but go ahead and um, um, put your working yarn through the center and then to the wrong side and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to cinch that up. Like I said, it doesn't matter which end you start with, you take your CD and you're going to put your working yarn through from the other side that you just cinched up through the center of the hole. Now we're going to shove that puppy in there. So we're going to just stretch it around until you get the pearls lined up with the edge of the CD and then your gathered will be right there at the center hole. There you go. And then you'll take your other end and you still have your working yarn from that side pulled all the way through. And then we're going to pull, you're going to gather this end up as well on this side. Now then, in order to um, secure it, see, check that out. Nice, tight fabric. Okay, now we are going to secure this with a, um, once we've got it all tightened up on both sides, 
then we are going to secure it with a double knot and if you're not familiar with a double knot it's quite simple they don't slip when pulled and um, if you do it correctly so we've got um, for this demonstration you'll see the blue and then the green and your same yarn will always cross to the front so in this one it's going to be our green so it will go so right will go over left and then we will tie and now your green one is going to be pull it tight your green one's on the left now but it is still the one that's going to go in the front so you take your left over right and then pull it through and then once that is done then you will just snip that off and then it is flat and a nice coaster to set your drinks on there we go I hope you enjoyed this and um, you can find the written pattern on my blog at www.stringtheoryfiberworks.blogspot.com. Thank you very much.